Hello, my name is Philip Benson and I'm one of the authors in this month's featured article. Now when I was doing my orthodontic specialist training I had some clinical supervisors who recommended a closed surgical exposure for patients with platelet displaced canines and some clinical supervisors who recommended an open surgical exposure. Both groups of clinicians had sound clinical reasons for their chosen choice of treatment. This was helpful to me as a trainee because I got experience in both techniques and I subsequently formed an opinion about which one I preferred. However, I must admit that I didn't understand or know the literature in this area. It wasn't until one of our specialist trainees, Nicola Parkin, led a systematic review which found no evidence that to support one, the use of one technique over another that I questioned my clinical judgment. As a result of this review, Nicola undertook a clinical trial whereby patients with one unerupted palately displaced canine agreed to be randomly allocated to either having a closed surgical exposure or an open surgical exposure. The patients were treated in three UK hospitals, followed to the end of orthodontic treatment and for several months afterwards. The report of this clinical trial was the basis of Nicola's PhD thesis, uh, which was published in two, 2012, and this is the fifth article arising directly or in, indirectly from that thesis. In this featured article, we report the findings of a study where we ask people to look at the clinical photographs of both canines from 67 participants in the trial, 33 who had had a closed surgical exposure and 34 who had an open surgical exposure. We asked each assessor without any prior knowledge of which tooth had been treated or by which technique to judge which side they judged looked the best. We also asked them to decide which tooth had been treated. We had a group of orthodontists to represent professional opinion and a group of lay people uh, for non-dental opinion. We found that a higher proportion of both clinicians and lay people's judgments rated the untreated canine as looking best. As you might expect, the orthodontists were better at detecting which tooth had been treated, but in a significant minority of their judgments were wrong. There were no differences between teeth that had been treated using a closed surgical technique or an open surgical technique. We concluded that surgical exposure of a palately displaced maxillary canine does affect the appearance of the tooth and the gums three months post debond. But it makes no difference whether uh, an open technique or a closed technique was used. Now, like all published literature, uh, there were limitations with this work, but as our review found, there is very little reliable evidence uh, in this area. We look forward to reading future studies uh, that are published.